on those weights. And this is how we would define a um, ratio DEM model. Uh, the objective is try to maximize this efficiency ratio to maximize it. But you will have to have to add some sort of um, uh, constraints or restrictions um, if you don't know those weights. So when we say, okay, let's um, restrict all the uh, efficiencies for all the units, uh, it's less than or equal to one. Now here, um, this this is the um, the efficiency for a DMU not a DMU zero, which is on the evaluation, and then you have this is the uh, these are the, the efficiency ratios for all the DMUs. Okay, um, so what this model says is basically, given that uh, we assume that the 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 ratio should be less than or equal to one, not between zero and one. Um, find a set of weight, okay, uh, so that one particular DMU's efficiency can be maximized. Now, if the the ratio is is one being the max maximum, um, that may, means this uh, DMU is on the frontier or it's efficient. Uh, otherwise, um, it's it's inefficient. Now here we we set that uh, set the restriction that all the Efficiency ratios um, should be less than or equal to one. I mean, you you can always um, set uh, that equal to a different number. Say um, it's a hundred, so you will have something between zero and hundred. It doesn't matter uh, because it, uh, you want to maximize the efficiency, so you are only going to set the the efficiency less than or equal to. You cannot set them greater than or equal to. If you set them greater than or equal to, uh, you will never get a solution. Uh, the solution is just infinity. Um, so you have to set less than or equal to something because this is the only criteria to use, and it's fair to all the DMUs. Um, when you uh, when you evaluate other DMUs, you would replace the objective uh, with a new uh, replace this uh, with a new DMU, and it's subject to the same condition. So here again, for each DMU or each unit, you would run this model. So if you have n um, units, you're going to run this model uh, n times, and each time you're going to try to find out a set of weights uh, that maximize the efficiency. Now this this model is is obvious. Now um, uh, if you look at the uh, the objective, as it's nonlinear. Uh, for the restrictions, you can actually convert that into a linear um, inequalities. Um, just multiply both sides um, by um, the, the, the sum of um, vi times xij. Um, if you just move that over to here, so you will have the the width of the sum of Outputs less than or equal to the the weight of the sum of inputs, so that becomes linear. But the um, the objective function is nonlinear, um, so you can use a, a, a transformation to convert that into a linear uh, programming problem. Or um, if you could, you can just set the, this part, um, the weight of the sum of inputs, uh, equal to one. So this slide um, shows that, but actually it's it's this um, this uh, transformation that's involved. So you would have something uh, a model like this. So you would still try to maximize the weight of the sum of the output uh, by subject to the weight of the output minus the weight inputs less than or equal to zero. Um, this is basically saying that okay the um, the efficiency ratio of all the DMUs should be less than or equal to one. Um, again, if you set that less than equal to 100, you will use uh, uh, something different here. Uh, use a uh, 100 times that. Still, you you would get this uh, similar constraint. Uh, and you also uh, set um, this equals to one. Okay, so now this is a um, linear programming problem. Uh, again, in this model. The x and the y's they are all known uh, because these are the inputs and the outputs they are given to you. Uh, the decision variables are those weights, okay, are those weights, and those weights are usually called multiplies. Multiplies. Um, the 
the weight in this model, the ratio model, I call the weights. Um, because of the transformation involved here, um, the, the weights in this model are called multipliers. Um, I think it's, bad, it's a good idea um, that if you um, try to solve this multiply model in an Excel um, spreadsheet, uh, at MyWPI you have this file that, that contains the, the model and also the, um, the VBA codes that automates the um, DEA calculation process. Now, uh, once you've um, finished the cal calculation of this particular model, I want you to compare the input-oriented CIS invariable model that we discussed last time in the last set of slides with this model and to see um, what you can, you can find in, in terms of the um, relationship between the efficiency scores. And in fact, you, you're going to find out the efficiency scores are exactly the same. So um, this is actually called input-oriented CRS multiply model. And uh, this model, the input-oriented CRS multiply model, and the input-oriented CRS invariable model, um, the equivalent. And in the LP, uh, really programming terminology, they are actually called dual models. Um, so you can solve either one of the models and you will get the, the same results, get the same efficiency scores. Now, if you define the um, the efficiency ratio, the we define the efficiency ratio as the output over the input. Now, if you would define the, the, the ratio uh, um, of efficiency ratio efficiency as the input over the uh, the output, uh, and you will get an output oriented um, CRS. Um, a multiply model. I think this is the typo here. It should be multiply model. But again, the the output oriented CIS multiply model is equivalent to the output oriented um, CIS um, in, um, invariable model. Okay. So in this again, um, this is um, the invariable here. This is a typo. That should be multiplier. Um, I will change that in the slides. Um, if you look at this model, the difference is that here you try to minimize the uh, the weight inputs for one particular DMU on the year evaluation, and um, and this is the saying that okay, all the um, efficiency ratios should be greater than or equal to one. It's not that not, not less than or equal to because you're trying to minimize. If less than or equal to, obviously it's going to be zero. So you have to. Um, to greater than or equal to, and in this case, it's like you you're setting this um, weight output uh, the output value um, equal to one. So you have this um, linear program problem, and you can solve it.